comeback in the opening game. And it's a day of comebacks, really. Chen Yufei at the start was down seven love in the second to come back to beat Nozomi Okuhara. Chang and Zheng coming through as well, and he and Tan to form 2 0. We've got men's singles coming up next for you. And Li Shi Fang, his last match on court last year was against Lo Qian Yu in the Australian Open, and he's back on court against the same man today in round one of the Malaysia Open. Well, there's teammates going head-to-head -head from China, Liu Guangzhou and Zhao Zhengpeng to decide an opponent for the winner of this match tomorrow. And that was Zhao Zhengpeng earlier today. Perhaps in this section of the draw, Kunlovut Viditsan might be the favorite after that win earlier as well, to get Men to a quarters, single. but Li Shi Feng, China. let's see if Li Shi Feng or Lo Qian Yu have got something to say about that. Versus Lo Qian Yu, Singapore. There is Li Shi Feng, 2018 gold in the Youth Olympics in Buenos Aires. He beat Lakshya Sen in the final Lampaya, that day. Lampaya, Adari, Singe, so that's a few years ago now. And since then, this man, Lo Qian Yu, became the world champion in 2021 in Huelva. And we're all set for a few fireworks in this men's singles. That head-to-head, 2-0, -head, Lo Qian Yu. Okay, let me do the toss. As I mentioned, Black that color. last meeting, it was 23-21 in the deciding game. Red, red is the Over ball. an hour in Australia. Black, your choice. Side. And the toss of the coin, Li Shifang takes the win with the coin toss and elects the arguably more difficult side of the court. We'll speak to Steen Pedersen in a few moments as to why that might be. Let's take a look at our two players then. <laughs> 23 years old, Li Shi Fang born in Jiangxi, China. Five eleven, bordering six foot tall, ranked number twenty in the world, and a tough ask ahead of him today against one of social media's favourite badminton players, Lo Qian Yu. Such a crowd favourite these days. And a hero in Singapore, the first man from Singapore to lift the World Championships. That was 2021. He's 25 years old now. Five foot nine in height from Penang, Malaysia originally. And Singapore were very quick to snap him up a few years back. He's ranked sixth in the world at the moment. Spent eight weeks at number three in the world some time ago. And their last meeting, as I mentioned, 23-21 in the third, so we'll see if that has any bearing on this match. Our umpire, Lakpriya Ediri Singh from Sri Lanka and Huang Chin Wei from Taipei. Ready to play? Back on court, but this time in the service judge chair. So, Steen, the decision to take the less favoured end of the court first. Yeah, that's normal for um, most of the men's singles players, I guess. Uh, 
at least shows that um, Lee is uh, confident that this could go to uh, three games. From the result, judging from the result, um, it was the same situation in Australia. Lowe won the first game easily, lost the second game easily, and then won 23 21. So just managed to uh, Ladies and gentlemen, hold off a comeback on from right, uh, Li Shifeng, I suspect. Singapore. We could see a match panning out. And on my Similarly, Li Xingfen, here. China. Well, let's hope so. Look that one lasted 62 so. minutes. Level. And then singles fans might be treated to yeah. another repeat of that today if we're lucky. Lo Kianyu, the opening serve, he's in the... Well, blue is the reverse of the T-shirt. One slightly more multicolored at the front. But Lo Kianyu at the bottom of your screens here. And how big of a shock was it, Steve, so Loki and you lifting that World one. Championship title? Oh. It seemed to me it came out of nowhere. Yeah, there's been a few World Champions where it was a bigger shock, in my opinion. I think uh, maybe Isuk Subiato back in uh, 83 and Peter Rasmussen in 97 Two. is of, um, uh, of uh, similar um, kind, but... Uh, no, I, I think probably the biggest shock. Um, it's not like he oh, came oh. totally out of the blue. He beat Lin Dan in Three, the Thailand Open um, some years ago, though. But um, going on to win the title, that, that was a surprise, and especially since he played Axelsen in the first round. Yes, yes, what a victory. Well. He, he was fortunate, I suppose, to get a bit of insider knowledge playing Axelsen that day. He'd been training with him, hadn't he, for a few months or a few weeks at least in, yeah. in Dubai. like this sideways drift left to right I was about to say that I thought it might be the other way around because we're sitting behind court two here and I can tell you it's totally the opposite on court two the sideways drift is right to left over. yeah I was uh, speaking Four. with the Yonex stringers two. on the uh, bus on the way here this morning talking about the arena drift and it sounds like there's a different drift on every court yeah Huge arena, of course, the Atiata. Good, good attack, yes, from the Xing Fan. Yeah, yeah, and he started out well. He can really play this man. I saw him in Korea Open where he was in the final. And the 5 foot 11, I, I think that must have been from his junior days. I, I think he's definitely 6 foot. He looks taller to me. That's why I questioned my own my own stats when I read 5 11, walking him, uh, watching him walk out to court. So forward. I know Loki and you is not the tallest of players. Right. But uh, Lee looks at least 6 foot to me. Change. I guess China's men's singles are where their women's singles were four, five years ago or something like that. Um, now they're, they can no longer rely on Chen Long. Xi Yuqi has come back and, and come back at a good level. Uh, lost though in the first round here yesterday against Chou Tiantian in a, in a long, long match going so the, the distance. But, um, Six. But Three. finding the air to uh, Lin Dan and Chen Long's throne uh, must be the um, the goal. Xi Yuqi is the obvious choice, but who's coming after him? And, and Li Xifeng is uh, one of six the youngsters four, uh, four, who six. could do it, but but has I mean the pandemic has really taken its toll on on some of the players in the uh, 
20, 21, 22 years of age group that hasn't been um, able to compete and develop the way we would normally think players of that age group do at that time of their career. Oh, that's a good control as well. Oh, just wide. Play. Yes, well, they haven't been able to travel as much as, as they could have to get that experience either Seven, in tournaments. Four. Zhao Zhenpan made it through Ten. earlier. And, uh, yeah. No consistency in, uh, in practice. I mean, practice on and off. At, at that age, that's where you really make your move into the uh, top of Walt Badminton. They also have uh, Liu Guangzhou here this week. So well, they did have. He's been five, dispatched by Zhao Zhengpeng. Yeah. He's a machine, but uh, technically not as not as gifted as perhaps some of these players. Oh, he's relying a lot on his uh, speed of movement. Excellent uh, read there by uh, Li Xifeng. So it's over. Eight, five. Well, that's a great lesson in footwork timing and body positioning there from Li Xifeng. He looks pretty calm, Steen. Yeah. Untroubled in defense. Oh. A very tidy looking player indeed. And that's gone wide. So it's all one. Six. Eight. Drift very nicely there on that rally, Li Shifong. Well, if he can, he'll be one of the few we've seen so far this week that's been able to do so. Oi, fantastic save. What a rally by looking you. Off the hip defense. Seven. Eight. Superb from the former world champion. Ready to resume. Wait, that's a good deception. Fantastic uh, service return by Li Xifang. Now that's a service uh, I've often complained about uh, the players using the forehand return. This is a return after my head. <laughs> Well, he looks like a man that knows the conditions he's playing in because I've heard you say, Steen, a few times about being on that side of the court and needing to use the flat shots. And that return of serve with that bit of disguise was perfect. And again there. Play. An applause from uh, Sun Jun Ten. on the coaching chair. So. Off to a great start here, Li Shifeng. And Lo Kian Yu, as yet, unable to take advantage of the favourite side of the court. Four points the gap in the mid-game interval, and Li Shifang. Yeah, but th this could be um, could be in this could be this. really troublesome for for Lo Kian Yu. Uh, one of the things where. Low is not so strong is by sort of um, deliberately uh, creating his own opportunities. Good play back at the net there. Super play by Li Shifong. 
Yeah, he's putting low under real pressure here. So what are Lo Kianyu's strengths then, Steen? I mean, his defence sometimes, you think he's down and out and he gets the shuttle back. So that's one, but how does he win rallies otherwise? He's speeding. He's the fastest player on the circuit. Right. Perhaps together with um, Ginting. Yeah, I think he's faster than Ginting. <laughs> um, Maxi Sen, pretty quick on his feet as well. At least... I don't think we've seen Ginting in really, really top shape for a long, long while. Well, that gap is four points. And a great start for Li Shifeng. Seven. Well, just to elaborate Play. a little bit on what I said about the, the um, deliberate creation of uh, opportunities for looking you, then um, he's relying a lot on uh, the opponents making some bad choices, and at well, the moment Li Shifang is seven. making perfect choices. So there's very few openings for Low and, and um, I actually think Low is, is stronger in, in slow playing conditions where he can play these shots. Uh, that worked brilliantly here, good hold and flick. Um, but um, he can play these shots in, in uh, slow playing conditions. If he's in trouble, he can just um, lift it to the back line and start all over. And as you say, he, he's got a good defense and can rely on his speed to counter-attack. That's not possible here. Not in the same way, or at least Li Shifang is doing a really good job of um, staying in control of the rallies. I think Lo Kian Yu must have been listening to you, Steen. He gave you a great example of exactly what you were saying. Given him time, and he's got choices. So in slow conditions, he gets more time. Yeah. yeah. Are there many places around the world, Steen, that you've been to that are quicker in terms of the speed of the shuttles than this? So it's pretty it's fast in here as a rule. Uh, it, it's fast in terms of there's a, a drift alongside the court. Um, there's in many arenas, there's drift alongside the court. Uh, the shuttle speed, we, we, we did never know that before we turn up, but we've seen a year, pretty much all of 2021 was played with extremely slow shuttles and again the chiffon goes to what 15, playing basketball call a slam dunk <laughs> yeah absolutely we've got football analogies basketball analogies come on there's some venom behind that steam look at that but it wouldn't surprise me if we see slower shuttles towards the end of the week here Yes, the tournament can change the shuttles on a daily basis. No, the, 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 Is that right? No, no. no? Yeah, they, they, they can. They, they decide which of the there's three different speeds available, and they decide each morning which, which speed to play with. Yes, that's right. Um, I think they should pretty much choose the same speed throughout the week. Good accuracy again. Li Shifeng. He's come out of the block so fast. Not in terms of speed, I mean, but in terms of just badminton. He's playing almost the perfect game here at the moment. So it's over. 10, 16. question is it likely at all in men's singles that we talk about these ND conditions and the favoured end of the court is it possible or likely that actually she Li Shifang might prefer 
that far side. 16. Um, theoretically, yes, it's possible. If um, he's unable to kill it on the near side here, but he can do it on the far side, then um, it's perfectly possible that that could be the case. I don't think it's the case. Mm, right. He's just playing really, really well. Yeah. Oh. It was a much better rally by uh, you. Yeah, I didn't see too much wrong with the length and the height of the lift. No, oh, but a little bit short, perhaps, but... And he's playing more flat game. Mm. Or not, not flat game, but he's playing more flat shots, flat lifts. Not leaving it all control to uh, Ishifung. Working hard in defense, Loki and you. Yeah, and it's paying off. Looked a little bit like uh, a panic attack from um, Li Shifeng. Thank you. And what he should think of is that it's super important to uh, maintain shot this quality. That's what got him to 16 14, which is a favorable position playing the far end. Actually, see from my position here whether it is Sun Jun sitting at the back of the court. I just assume it from. Uh previous matches. Oh, it's gone long. I would take a challenge if I were an issue from. Yeah, 16. I don't think we're going to see one. But great anticipation from Lee. A bit unlucky not to keep that in court. That's a great play by looking you. Play it back at the net. 16. And oh. he's getting himself pumped up here, Steen. He's getting into this match now. Yeah, that's seven straight points. He was down 16-9. Going flat into that rear corner. 16. Very little danger of the drift, causing him problems. And so he could really attack that place on the court. Great net shot from Lokian Yu. Good judgment. So it's over. 17. Oh. You should realize, uh, Li Xifeng, that a lot of the lifts going to that forehand side, he hasn't covered it particularly well. Here, whilst uh, Low has made his comeback, scored eight consecutive points. But if. Uh, he is um, alert to it. He might be able to uh, intercept and counter-attack. Thank you.
takes it. It's not really going into the services. The... So it's over. 18. Big cross oh. smash winner here from Lee. Yeah, but you can see that uh, Lowe, he actually read it. Yes, I would have the, expected the most times for it to come back. And the body gives it away. He is using the uh, body position, body movement to uh, judge where the uh, shot is coming. Yeah, good backhand clear from Lo Kian Yu. And a cheap point in the end. After what was turning out to be a wonderful rally. And some animation from Lee. Possibly the first time we've seen him get excited. Deep breath of air there before the service. A clever shot from Lo Kian Yu. And Steen, you've been talking about this kind of thing in defence all, all day, all week, really. Defending with okay. purpose, I suppose. Yeah. I can't yeah. remember exactly how you phrased it before. Right to court, please. No, neither can I. <laughs> <laughs> but just forcing your opponent to yeah. play an attacking shot from a. Yeah. Getting exactly the right trajectory and uh, length. So. Uh, Thank you. So you're a little Thank bit you. uh, challenged position-wise, and um, you can see that he's, he's, a, he's a tall man, and um, he's been challenged on his movement. And Lowe is used to practicing against tall players. Everything happened in about a split second there. I think Lee Shifang broke a string. And this backhand from Lo Kian Yu, wonderful. 20, game point, 19. Well, as Steen said earlier, 16-9 down he was, Lo Kian Yu. An impressive comeback. Oh! No challenge. It's gone long from Lee. And the former world champion takes the opening game after such great work in the early stages from Lee Shifang. A long way to go yet. We expect Lee to come back strong in game two. the score. Seconds, 
second game, low ball. Right. Well, we've seen some comebacks already today, and that one was right up there from Lo Kian Yu. Sixteen nine down he was in the first. So it's low ball, one lock. Now one of the interesting questions, in my opinion, is uh, what has this done to Li Shifeng mentally? Having such a big lead, um, a good opportunity to really give himself a good chance of winning the overall match. And then losing and being back to square one. And uh, the start here is super important because, I mean, if Low is um, Low. making errors like he's done in the first two rallies here, then I mean, how, how can Lee avoid getting back? Yeah, so, so for Low, it's super important to uh, apply some mental pressure in the beginning here. So it's over. One. Well, those first two rallies backed up by this huge smash. And he's off the mark in game two. Yeah, I've seen Li Shifeng looked so professional, I suppose, to start the match in game one. He looked very organised, under no pressure. Every shot he played seemed to be the right shot. So let's see how he plays when he gets a bit rattled. If this continues here, the last two rallies from Lowe, where we've seen him uh, sort of put it away clean, then uh, we're going to see the situation that we normally see in the third games, where the player on this near side realizes that he can't really play the backboard. He's got to take the attack as well, because otherwise his opponent is going to do it. Yeah, it's gone long and uh, way long. Three, and two. The turnaround for Loki Yu cannot be underestimated because from being under pressure, if he was losing the first game, he's now uh, basically having a, a free roll here in the second game because he's giving the uh, drift in the arena. Three, all. Oh. He's. Um, tip to uh, probably lose that yes yes a little bit of luck off the net for Lee oh, it's quick good leave Left. Yeah. Four, three. Ten. Fell victim of <laughs> the drifty conditions here. Yeah, he looked up to the sky as if the lights, but it was more the shuttle movement in the air. Yeah. So it's over. Four, five. Short lift and a big cross smash from low. Five. Oh. 
strangely to me, Lee looks less comfortable on this end. I agree, I think he looks disheartened mm. even though it's 5-all. And... Um, it's not like it's easy, but he still has a chance. So it's over. In this match. Six, five. Mm. Seven, five. Yeah, good length from Lo Kian Yu. And again. But the whole rally. Yeah, and the broken string causing the error. That will do no good for Li Shifang, who was already looking a bit disheartened. to the aid of Lo Kian Yu. And helping get this easy kill at the net. And apologizes for getting that small piece of fortune. Oh, he's in. No challenge from Lo. Halfway no. between a smash and a clear there. Yeah, we need a maybe. name for that shot, Steen. I'm not sure what to call it. A miss hit, <laughs> perhaps. So whilst Lo Kian Yu had all that excitement of the World Tour Finals to contend with in December, Li Shifang's last international match was against Lo Kian Yu in December. Uh, in the, was it December, the Australian Open? Yeah. So that's all he's had to think about since he last put his racket in his bag at a tournament was Lo Kian Yu. Is that, is that going to help him? He's thought about him for that long. So he's over. probably been practicing, focusing Eight. on his development. And then seeing that he's playing him again here. I'm imagining the uh, Sylvester Stallone in Rocky Balboa kind of scenario where he's got a picture of the guy on his bathroom window. Yeah. And every day. Oh. That's commonly used in sport. Yeah. Having something to remind you of your goal, where you're going. But he hit the ground first. His racket. It's going wide. Leashing fan challenges all out. Well, he's already broken two strings. Doesn't want to be breaking a racket here. And Lee. She found with this challenge. Correct. 
Well, Plum on the line. Great challenge for Lee. So it's four ball. Ten, nine, play. Oh. Well. So it's four ball. And St. John is not happy. He's uh, out of his chair behind the court. Trying to explain to uh, Li Shifeng what he needs to do. Well, not play terrible shots like that last one would be a good start. But it's rare, we haven't seen much of that today. He's been on great form for the most part. Oh, incredible defence. So it's over 11 10 in the one. Pure reactions. And look, Yang Yu could not have done a great deal more. Well, he was there to follow up. Well, just one point to the gap in the mid game into the other seconds. And Lee Shi Fang is very, very much still in this. Despite the body language, it, it just doesn't seem to be in the same headspace as he was when he started the match. Well, there was a lot of explaining from the children. How's your Chinese, Steen? Uh, it's good, but I'm saving it to yes. uh, 2025. Me too, me too. <laughs> 11, 10, play. I was thinking the same of Li Shifang on the opening game. Yeah. Seemed to actually play with quite a lot of control into the rear court whilst being on the fast end, and Loki on you is doing the same thing here. <laughs> Superb. 12, 11. Well, the cross block. Was played to perfection, and he anticipated this cross lift for that straight smash. Guess right with his body, but he just couldn't execute the shot. Yeah, he's growing in confidence, Loki and you. Cross court punch clear in these conditions. Difficult to execute, but he's making it look fairly comfortable. Good attack. Much better play by um, Li Shifang. Patient. Yeah. And, and one of the things that's really, really important is that he stays in balance. He cannot afford to get out of balance. Okay, neither of the players, but 
It's just super, super important in windy conditions. You've got to stay in balance because if you're in balance, you have a chance of controlling your shots, of being deliberate. When you lose balance, it's more about survival and uh, it's much more difficult to control. Back on court, next. This one. Yeah, it hasn't got the best record here in this Six. arena, looking you. Oh. Never been past the second round. That's right, I noticed that uh, last right. night. Look at that. Look at that. Something before speed. Yeah. Yeah, both of these men, lightning fast, pushing towards the net. Fast twitch muscle fibers, especially in the calf muscles. So we on. Yeah, round one last year, I believe, Steen, at the oh, Malaysia okay. Open. Yeah, this is the only time he's played. And uh, the Malaysia Masters... Uh, Hasn't been past second round played that back in uh, so it's more on fifteen forty. Like yeah, he, Lowe's actually only got two world tour titles, I noticed. That's why it was such a, a big surprise that he won the world championship. Mm, exactly. Good play. So it's over. Not full pace oh. on the first one from Li Shifeng. And there's that balanced position. He was moving backwards slightly on that first one. And you never want to go full power. That's um, some of the low we saw in that World Championship. They're just firing smashes away at his opponent and you... Never really knew whether it was uh, going left or right or body. Yeah, he seems to be a real master at that disguise with the smash. Good net again. Oh. Well, these two go in all at it now. 17. Shifang needs to believe in himself here. He's not doing an awful lot wrong. And he started the match so well. But it's Lo Kian Yu in prime position. One game to the good. And 17-15 in the second. Smash now. Yeah. He's in full flow, full of confidence, and he's one player in the world you don't want to see full of confidence against you. So it's over. 16, 18.
Still two points. The lead as we edge closer to the end of this second game. Good defence from low. Well, I nearly had it, Steve. Yeah, uh, he nearly had it, but you don't get any points for nearly. <laughs> uh, great play by Li Shifeng. Great patience. Sometimes his footwork, you know, can you is like he's dancing. Oh! Oh! Oi! Fantastic save. I think Lee Ji Fen was so amazed that the first one came back. He wasn't concentrating on the second. Unbelievable. Off the frame. Well, that's what speedy uh, and good defense does to your opponent. It um, creates a mental pressure, and I think that was what earned Loking you the point in the end of this rally after that magic save. Characteristic to miss one of those forehand net shots. 18, 19. attack from low and a fully deserved position that he's now in at match point wow so it's all that was a confident leave on match point 19 20. And how much bottle does Lee Shifang have? 20. Well, oh, he's done a good that... job of staying in this match, Lee Shifang. Yes. Now he's just two points away from um, equalizing. Staying patient, Lee Shifang. Good decade. And that will build his confidence. Loki and you suddenly looking very slightly diminished. Good shot. Good choice there, Steve, going over the top. This matchup turning out as predicted. A very close affair. Oh, he hunted that match so quick, Steve. 
And there's me questioning whether Lokian Yu is still as confident as he was five minutes ago. Yeah, he's got one game in the back. That's um, it's always nice, but of course he would want to finish it in straight. Well, he's done just that. And a mirror image of the previous rally, hunting that net. Li Fang trying to stay positive. Look at that. Okay, you delighted to take the match in straight games. Yeah, and he was itching to get in to play that kill. A valiant performance from Li Fang. But today, Lo Kian Yu was the better man and takes his place in round two. Confirmation of that scoreline, straight games in the end, 21-19, 23-21 to Lo Kian Yu. And he'll be facing Zhao Zhenpeng Another man from China in round two tomorrow. Let's enjoy a few of the highlights, but don't go anywhere. Mixed doubles action coming up for you next with Jill Clark and Steen Pedersen. Welcome back to Kuala Lumpur. The Patronus Malaysia Open for 2023. We're day two of competition and it's still first round action. All the action today from the bottom half of all five draws of the five disciplines.